A week before she disappeared, Kelly Bordeaux took her boyfriend, Justin Thompson, to the Froggy Bottoms bar near her apartment. It was there the couple first met the man who wound up killing Kelly, bar worker Nick Holbert. She said Froggy Bottoms is the closest place, so that's just where we ended up going. We just went and drank and played pool. And uh, that Nick kid like introduced himself, so that's how he got in. He kept wanting to play pool. We did the same thing the next night. You know, we just drank, and he always wanted to be around. He always wanted to hang out. I'd always catch him staring at her. I told her, I was like, that guy is creepy, man. I don't know the kid that much to say that he's going to be dangerous. I just knew he was different. I knew I didn't want to hang out with him, but she was nicer than that. She's accepting of everybody. You know, she just invited everybody in her life. Next week that he actually gets to hang out with her, he goes crazy. Like, I just thought he wouldn't leave her alone, you know, like he would be harassing and stuff. He was supposed to be her ride home, and I told her she should be picked up, like, a little around the corner and be dropped off, like, not exactly in front of her door, but don't really know where your exact apartment is. She was texting me out throughout the night, and at the end of the night, she texted, like, call me. And then I got a text after that that said, I'm home now, everything's fine. I'll, talk, I'll call you tomorrow. So I call her and her phone's off. That's when I started to like really panic. I already knew it. I knew it from the beginning. This guy was too creepy to, to him to have not have done something. I already had a feeling about him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I felt like that. I just did. I just knew that's the only creepy person she got encountered with. And then he says he dropped her off. You're angry. You want to kill this kid. You know, you want to go up there and you want to find her and you want, but you have, you, but you just, point that you can't do anything, it just kills you, man. You just sit back. And, you, know, you just sit there and wait for some shitty news. So it, oh, it's rough. You cannot be the person that just lets it ruin your life because people start to get tired of it after a while. Like They'll be like, dude, that was years ago. You have to let it go. And you do. You, uh, what are you going to do? You just, you're going to fall the way too. You're going to die too. So I was happy that it was with Kelly. She just stood out, and obviously she's pretty. I mean, that you could not want to talk to her. I was already pretty sure, like, that was my next stage in life. That's where I was going. I was leaving everything in here. It was the uh, compatibility. It was easy to talk to her. Not that only was she a very beautiful girl, she was also very cool. She played video games with you. She cooked. She would take care of you. And that was something that was comforting. You know, not that I was moving up there to get, like, have her take care of me. Like, I was looking for jobs, but it's good to know that she was, like, kind-hearted enough that if you were down on your luck, she's not going to scram out. So, I don't know. She seemed, she seemed like everything I could ever really want.